Hey. All right, you, you didn't see that. Well, yeah. Welcome back to day five of the Week in the Life series where I showcase what a music student does at McGill for a week. So today I'm gonna show you around a bunch of places, the cafeteria, the library, and class. Plus I'll also talk about some of the volunteer work that I'm doing as well as an email that I'm uh, rather nervous to send. <laughs> So yeah, there's so much to do. I guess you could say we have a bunch of things on our menu today. Get it? Because we're going to the cafeteria. <laughs> It's currently like 9.41 and I'm with my friend Daniel, fellow pianist, and we're right now in RBC Cap. So McGill basically has a bunch of dining halls, places students can eat at. What's cool about this is that they're situated in student residences, so for the first years who are living on campus in a residence which has a cafeteria, it's super convenient to just walk down and grab something to eat. In my first year, I lived in RVC or Royal Victoria College, which had a cafeteria, this one in fact, and I pretty much spent most of my meal times over here. For you? Hi, can I get the pancakes? What kind of fruit do you want? Uh, I'll get the antelope. All right, thank you. If you're a first year living in a residence, you'll also get something called a mandatory meal plan, which is basically like money in your accounts that can only be used on dining services on campus. It's pretty nice because this plan is exempt from taxes, although if you are assigned to this plan, you don't actually have an option to opt out. <laughs> Bro, that, that's a lot of- That's a lot of damage. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully this cafeteria explanation gave you some food for thought. Alright, so me and Daniel are heading to the music library right now to study. I need to work on my paper, and what do you need to work on? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was great. <laughs> I like this whole Yeah, it's very um, yeah. aesthetic. So in the library there are three floors and the higher up you go the more quiet you have to be. You can talk on the third floor, it has to be semi-quiet on the fourth floor and the fifth floor is a silent zone. Alright so next up we have history class on the piano. We also had this course on day three. But for this and the upcoming classes, we're now looking at piano pieces by composers such as Ravel, Debussy, and Takemitsu. After class is over, I'm now headed towards the Montreal Heart of the City piano program. This is a volunteer club that provides kids in Montreal piano lesson opportunities, which might not have been possible otherwise due to financial constraints. I've been a volunteer teacher since my first year here at McGill, and in my third year, I became one of the executives for the club. From a more general view, the club is one of the extracurricular activities available at McGill. So let's talk a bit more about student groups in general. There are a bunch of clubs that you can join. I think there's like over 250 student groups as of now. McGill basically has an activities night session at the beginning of the fall semester, which gathers up all the clubs in a building so students can check each club out and ask the executives questions, as well as signing up for the the membership lists. There are also some uh, <laughs> very unique clubs such as the infamous McGill Lettuce Club which literally has one meeting every year where you have 10 minutes to eat an entire head of lettuce and whoever eats the lettuce the fastest is dubbed the head of lettuce and organizes the meeting for the following year. So yeah it's wild there's such a wide range of activities you can do. I guess you could say McGill really does let us do whatever we want. Get it? McGill really does let us do whatever we want. So it's currently 11.21 and I am going to attempt to submit an email for a call for composers for the Coalition of for Music Education. If selected, the composer will write a piece for I think about hundreds of thousands of students in Canada, so <laughs> no pressure. And it's sent. 
we'll see how it goes. Hey, so future Nicholas here. As you can see, whenever my hair suddenly grows shorter, that's because I'm currently editing the video in the future and I need to provide some context for some clips. All right, so let's talk a bit about the composition department and these opportunities. The composition department is great because they occasionally send out a call for applications for opportunities like this where you usually have to submit your passworks and a letter of intent. I really wanted to get in for this one, although I didn't really have high hopes for my application. But this is future Nicholas, one year later, and yeah, I'd like to tell my past self to have a bit more confidence because I did, in the end, somehow manage to get in. It was a blast collaborating with so many great people, as well as writing the celebratory song for so many kids to sing. I have a video here that talks about what it was like to work on such a massive project, as well as my reaction to being interviewed on the news. So check this video out if you're curious. Otherwise, click here to see the next day in the vlog where I talk about the digital composition studios at McGill. Ooh. Like and subscribe and see you in the next video.